All right. So just like always, everybody, make sure you are aware of your space. I'm Grant with Optimal Performance. Um, today's workout is going to be just a full body workout that we're going to go through. I know it's Monday, so we're going to start out just getting loosened up. Um, so first thing, we got mobility work. We got three exercises. First one is just going to be groinings, all right? So like before, come before everybody, I'm going to have you guys go down to the ground. We're going to be in push-up position. We're going to go about 20 to 30 seconds on these. So once you're in push-up position, we're going to take our right foot, apply our right hand. Today, we're going to add in a rotation to it. All right, so we're going to look up at the ceiling, back down, foot back, and then we'll switch over to the left side from there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started, everybody. We've got 30 seconds on our groiners here, alternating back and forth. And relax. All right. Next up, we're going to go into our touchdown squat. So I'm going to have you guys stand up. We're going to start out arms up overhead. Let me adjust the camera real quick. So we're going to start out arms up overhead. I want you guys reaching up. Feet are going to be about shoulder width apart. All right. From you, we're going to reach down, grab your big toe. We're going to sit down into a squat. I want you to get your chest up. Once we're in the bottom there, we're going to go hands up and then we're gonna stand back up to that top position. All right, let's go ahead and get five on the touchdown squats. So again, we're gonna reach down, grab your big toe, hips down, arms up, and then stand up to that top position. Let's get five, everybody, on the touchdown squats. Let's get five. Hey, Jordan, see you rolling in here. Glad to see you today. Mila, glad to see you. Keep going, everybody, five on the touchdown squats. Again, we're just getting warmed up, so take it nice and slow. Work on getting those hips loosened up. All right, as you guys get done with your fifth one, next up we're gonna go into our leg swing. So we're gonna start out just going forward to back. We're gonna take our right leg and we're just gonna kick up to the opposite hand and then back from there, all right? So let's go ahead into our leg swings. If you guys need something to hold on to, feel free to hold on to the wall, to a couch. We're gonna go about 20 seconds here on the leg swings. There we go. All right, let's go ahead and switch over to the left leg from there. Again, going into our leg swings. Front to back. Try to get up a little bit higher with each one. And relax. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and roll these into our activations. First one we got is gonna be our bird dogs. So I'm gonna have you guys down on all fours. Like we've worked before, think about this, opposite arm, opposite leg. So we're gonna start out right arm, left leg, we're gonna reach out, and then we're gonna touch our elbow to our knee. Reaching out, elbow to the knee. Think about kicking that leg straight back and really getting long with it. So let's go ahead and get started, right arm, left leg. We're going to go about 20 seconds here. Almost there. Let's go about five more seconds and we'll switch sides. All right. So let's go ahead and switch over. Left arm, right leg. So again, start now getting long. Elbow to the knee and then reaching back out. 20 seconds. Now this circuit, we are gonna go two times through on the activations and we'll get to our plyometrics next. And relax. Next up everybody, we got our dead bugs. So again, these are just the opposite of the bird dogs. We're gonna be lying on our back. So ready position, arms straight up to the ceiling. Let's start out with our right arm and our left leg. So we're gonna reach out. And then elbow to the knee at the top. Reach out, elbow to the knee at the top. Let's go ahead, 20 seconds. Again, opposite arm, opposite leg here. Good, keep it going here. Now on these, I want you to press your low back down into the ground. So make sure, especially as we reach out, that we're not arching open. So keep that low back down. And let's go ahead and switch over to the opposite side, let's go. Left arm, right leg here, reaching out. 
And then touch an elbow and knee at the top. 20 seconds. And relax. Last one, everybody, is gonna be our dynamic plank. So on these, we're gonna be going from our hands. What I'm gonna have you guys do with these is we're gonna start out into a push-up position. We're just gonna be alternating side to side. So we're gonna go hand to the ceiling, bring it down, and then we'll switch over to the opposite side from there. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. We got 20 seconds on the dynamic planks. And relax. All right, everybody, let's go. 20 seconds rest. Grab a quick drink of water if you need one. We're gonna go through one more round of those activations and then we'll get to our plyometrics next. All right, everybody, let's go ahead and get ready. One more round through, let's go back to our bird dogs. Again, on these 20 seconds each side, let's start out with our right arm and our left leg. So on all fours, again, we're gonna start out reaching out far, and we're gonna go elbow to the knee, and then reaching back out. Let's go ahead and get started here. 20 seconds, right arm, left leg. There we go, once you get in the groove, eyes should be straight down to the ceiling. And really reach out with it, reach out. And let's go ahead and switch over to the left side. Left arm, right leg, reaching out. Elbow to the knee, reaching back out here, 20 seconds. And again on these, we don't have to go fast with it. Feel free if you wanna go super slow, we can do that as well. Big thing with this exercise is just making sure we're staying balanced and staying controlled. And relax. All right, rolling back over to our dead bugs. Again, these are just the opposite. We'll be lying on our back. So again, not worried about speed. I want you guys to stay nice and controlled with this. Let's go arms up to the ceiling, knees up, low back, press down to start out right arm and left leg here, reaching out. And then elbow to knee at the top, reaching up. Elbow to knee at the top. 20 seconds. Now, as you guys go through these, the opposite arm and leg, they shouldn't be moving at all. So they should stay exactly where they're at. It should just be the right arm and the left leg that's moving. And switch. Left arm, right leg. So this time the arm and leg that you started with are gonna stay right where they're at. 20 seconds, low back down. Make sure we're still breathing. And relax. All right, everybody, last one before we grab a quick drink is gonna be that dynamic plank. So we're gonna be up into a push-up position, and these are gonna be going side to side. So feet are gonna be about shoulder width apart, and let's go ahead and get started. Arms are gonna stay straight, and just pivoting through. Make sure your feet are staying stable on the ground. Good, keep it going, we're almost there. And relax. All right, everybody, quick drink of water, 20 seconds rest. Um, we do have some new stuff mixed in with our plow metrics today. So let's grab a quick drink, and then we'll roll into our jumping exercises next. All right, everybody, so while you guys are resting, I'm gonna explain the first exercise. We're gonna work on some square jumps today. So what I mean by these is if we were to draw a big square on the ground, that's where we're gonna be jumping, touching each corner of that square, all right? So I'm gonna have you guys start out at the back corner, 
We're gonna go feet together. We're gonna jump on both feet with these today. So we're gonna start out going back corner to back corner, and we're gonna go forward to the forward corner, opposite corner, and then back to that starting position. All right, so we're gonna start out going counterclockwise. We're gonna go about 10 seconds, and then we're gonna switch. We're gonna go the opposite way for 10 seconds. So it's gonna be about 20 seconds total, and we're just gonna roll right into that next one. All right, so let's go ahead and start out on that back corner, and we're going counterclockwise with it. So feel free, if you guys wanna go fast with it, you can. If you guys wanna stay a little bit more controlled, you can do that as well. I just want you to focus on landing softly as you go through. So 10 seconds here, let's go ahead and get started. Counterclockwise, going corner to corner. And make that square as big or as small as you want. And let's go ahead and switch directions. And rest. Next up, everybody, we're gonna roll into our jumping jacks. Just go in 10 seconds on the jumping jack, so it's gonna be pretty quick here. Again, just standard jumping jack. As the legs go out, arms are gonna go out from there. So let's go 10 seconds on the jumping jacks. And relax. Last one is gonna be a push-up jack. So what I'm gonna have you guys do from these, we're gonna be push-up position, and we're just gonna be going out with the feet while we hold that push-up position with our upper body. So let's go ahead and get to our starting position. Push-up, when I say go, we're gonna go 10 seconds on the push-up jacks. So ready position, and go. Think about quick touches with these. And rest. All right, so again, each of those just 10 seconds. So since it is just 10 seconds, I want you guys to go as hard as you can for those 10 seconds. Let's grab a quick drink of water here. About 10 more seconds rest, and then we'll get into the second round. We have three rounds total of our plyometrics today. All right, everybody. This second round of the square jumps, we're gonna go a single leg. So I'm gonna have you guys just go on the left leg on this next round but it's gonna be the same concept, going corner to corner with our jumps, all right? So let's go ahead and get ready. Again, we're going left leg down, and we're gonna start out going counterclockwise here, all right? Ready, go. All right, keeping that left leg down, we're gonna switch directions, let's go clockwise with it. And rest. All right, let's take it back to our jumping jacks here. 10 seconds, ready, go. And rest, back down to our push-up jacks. 10 seconds here, ready, go. Everybody, let's grab a quick drink of water. We got one more round through those. One more round through, and then we're gonna go about a minute rest, and we'll roll into our main circuit. Just like always, everybody, during this rest period, if again, if you're feeling like it's hard to breathe, your heart rate's up, focus on deep breaths, all right? So, like I mentioned before, deep breath through your nose. And think about breathing down low, as low as you can here. One more set through. This round on the square jumps, just the opposite of that last round. We're gonna go single leg jumps, and this time we're gonna stick on that right leg, all right? But same thing, we're gonna start out going counterclockwise, 10 seconds, and then we'll go 10 seconds clockwise from there, all right? So let's go ahead and stand up. Let's get ready here, we got one more round, and then we'll get into our main circuit next. Again, this round we're gonna go right foot down, we're gonna keep that left foot up. So we're gonna start out going counterclockwise, everybody. Ready? Go. Again, hit each of those corners as you go through. The box size is up to you. So if you want to challenge yourself, make it a little bit bigger, feel free. And let's switch directions. And 
and rest. All right, last round of our jumping jacks. 10 seconds here, jumping jacks. Ready, go. And rest. All right, last one here. Push up jacks, we got 10 seconds. Hands down on the ground. Ready, go. And rest. Awesome job, everybody. Like I said, we're gonna go a minute rest here, so really focus on that deep breathing. Let's get that heart rate down. We're gonna roll it into our main circuit next. So deep breaths, minute rest. I'm gonna explain the three exercises, and then we'll get rolling into it from there. All right, everybody. So while you guys are resting, just go ahead and listen in here for a second, and then we'll get rolling into the main circuit. So our first exercise, we're gonna work on some skater squats today. Now this is a challenging exercise, it is really hard. So if you need to, we'll just turn it into a back lunge from there. So choose a variation that's gonna be challenging for you, that's gonna allow you to do the exercise correctly and get all the reps as we need to. So what I'm looking for with the skater squat, everybody, is we're gonna start out one leg down, one leg is gonna be bent up. From there, we're gonna reach back. As you go back with your legs, you're gonna reach forward. We're gonna to touch our knee to the ground and then stand up to that top position. Now, like I said, if you wanna try the full variation, your toe is gonna to stay off the ground the whole time. So again, it's gonna be here, touch the knee, and then back up to the top. If that's a little bit too challenging, what you can also do is just lightly touch with the foot and then back up to the top from there. Just turn it into a regular back lunge. If that's also a little bit too challenging, then you can just turn it into a straight back lunge from there, right? So choose a variation that's gonna be challenging for you. We're gonna get five each side, all right? So it's gonna go by pretty quick there. Five on the left side, five on the right side. Next exercise is gonna be our RDLs or reaching balances. So again on these, if we're going back with the right leg, we're gonna reach forward with the right arm, reaching out, and then back up to that starting position. These are gonna be 10 each side. So again, it's gonna be reaching back, forward, back up to the top. So 10 each side on the RDLs. And then the last up is gonna be our core exercise for today. We've got hollow body rocks. So what I'm gonna have you do with these is we're gonna start out lying on the ground. We're gonna go arms and legs up, reaching towards our toes. From there, slowly we're gonna come out to where we're making a U shape with our body. And then from there, we're just gonna rock back and forth maintaining that hollow position. And we're gonna go about 20 seconds on those hollow body rocks, all right? So let's go ahead and stand up. We're gonna get started out with the skater squats or the back lunges. So like I said, choose a variation that's gonna be challenging for you, all right? We got five each leg. So whichever side you wanna start out on, um, let's go ahead and get started. We got five each side. So again, as you go back, it's gonna be reaching forward and then back up to the top. Let's get five each side. There we go. And like I said, that's perfectly fine if you need to just turn it into a reverse lunge. After you guys get done with five each side, let's go into those balance reaches. So we got 10 each side on the balance reaches. Again, the same leg that's going back, we're gonna reach forward and then back up to the top. Let's go ahead and get 10 each side here. There we go. And yeah, Jordan and Chase, that's perfectly fine. You can reach up with both arm, arms on those as well. Nice job, Mila. There we go. And as you guys go through these, we should almost be parallel to the ground as you go through. So make sure that we're not trying to keep our chest too tall up. All right, so as we go through, that chest is gonna drop down and then we'll stand back up from there. There we go, keep going everybody. Now, if it's a little bit too hard with the double leg, feel free. We can also just do 
single leg from there, all right? 10 each side. Let's go ahead, looks like everybody's finished up. Let's go to those hollow body rocks, all right? So let's go ahead and lie down. And we're gonna go 20 seconds. Now on these, if it's a little bit too hard to keep this position, you can also bring your arms and legs in and just turn it into a rocking position there as well, all right? So choose variations, it's gonna be challenging for you. But let's go ahead and start out. Arms and legs up to the ceiling. From there, we're gonna extend out, keeping your arms and legs straight. Once we're about halfway with our arms and legs, then we're gonna get started on the rocks. So let's go ahead and get started. 20 seconds. And like I said, if it gets a little bit too hard, just bend your knees and legs a little bit more. There we go, keep it going. And relax. All right, everybody, 20 seconds rest. Grab a quick drink of water. We're gonna go through two more rounds of the main circuit here, and then we'll get stretched out, and you guys are good to go for today. All right, about 10 seconds. For this next circuit, we're gonna stand back up for our first exercise. We're gonna go back to those skater squats or the back lunges. Again, we're gonna get five each side on these. So let's go ahead and stand up, let's get ready. Yeah, whichever leg you wanna start out with here, we got five each side, five each side. So let's go ahead and get started. Again, whichever leg you wanna start out with, five each side. There we go. Awesome job. Keep going everybody, five each side. Lakin, you know what you're doing? There we go. Yeah, and we could just do a straight step back lunge if you guys want to. There we go. Perfect, guys, you guys finish up with those five hands on our head. It was finished up there. All right, let's take it back to our balance reaches. Let's get 10 each side on the balance reaches. Again, as we reach out, we're gonna drop down and then back up to the top. Let's go ahead and get started. 10 each side. There we go. Now on these, balance is key, so take it a little bit slower. And really reach back with that back leg. Reach back. Nice job, everybody. Again, as you finish up with these hands on our head, and we'll take it back to our hollow rocks next. All right, let's go back to our hollow rocks. Another 20 seconds here. Get a line back. Let's go ahead and start out. Arms and legs straight up to the ceiling, reaching for your toes. From here, let's go ahead, keeping those arms and legs straight. We're gonna come down about halfway. Ready, go. And again, hold, holding that hollow position as we go into our rocks. Think about making a U and keeping that U shape. And rest. All right, everybody. One more rest period here, 20 seconds. Let's grab a quick drink of water. We got one more set through and then we'll get it stretched out. All right, about 10 seconds here, 10 seconds. Again, once you guys are ready, let's go ahead and stand up. Once everybody's ready, we'll roll on to this last circuit. All right, so it looks like we're all ready to go. So let's go ahead, 
last set of our skater squats. Let's get five each side, everybody. Whichever leg you want to start out on here. In back, then drive back up to the top. Let's get five each side. Now this one, everybody, try not to let your upper body fold over too much. So keep that chest tall as we go through. Once you get five, let's go ahead and switch over to the opposite side. Perfect. And as you finish up, hands on our heads, so know who's finished. Again, on those, even though it's just five, it can be really challenging. All right, let's go back to our single leg balance reaches. Let's get another 10 each side on the balance reaches. Again, kick that leg back as far as you can, and almost like you're reaching forward to a wall. Really reach forward here. Last round of these, everybody. Now on these, if the reach forward is kind of confusing you, you can also just reach down and touch your shin as well. That might make it a little bit easier as you guys go through. There we go, Jordan Chase Chaser done. Lakin, I think, is done. All right, let's go back down to our hollow body rocks. Last round through everybody, 20 seconds. Again, ready position. Arms and legs straight up to the ceiling, reach up to your toes. From there, arms and legs straight, we're gonna go out. Once we're about halfway, let's go ahead and get started on the rocks. And again, if you need to, just bring your elbows and knees in a little bit. Last 20, everybody. Try to keep going the full time. And relax. All right, everybody, we're gonna finish up with a little bit of stretching for our cool down today, and then you guys are good to go. So our first stretch is gonna be a figure four stretch. We're gonna go right leg. We're gonna set the right ankle right over top of our left knee. All right, so we're gonna be right here. From here, we're gonna grab outside the knee, ankle, and then we're just gonna bring that opposite leg up towards our chest. So we're gonna hug it up to our chest. Let's go about 20 seconds on the figure four stretch here, and then we'll switch sides. And again, since we're cooling down, just focus on that deep breathing. Should feel a little bit of stretch in the hip of that top leg. And relax it down. Let's go ahead and switch over to the left side. So again, we're gonna take that left ankle over the right knee, outside arm around the knee, Ankle, and then just gently hugging that knee up to our chest. Once we got a little bit of stretch there, focus on your breathing. And relax it down. Last up, everybody's gonna be a quad stretch. So I'm gonna have you guys roll over to your right side. We're gonna take our left hand, just like we've worked on before. We're gonna grab onto that left foot, rolling over onto our stomach, and then we're just gonna gently pull up with that left hand. Think about pushing your hips down into the ground and focusing on our deep breathing here. Again, just looking for a light stretch. And relax it down. Let's go ahead and switch over to the left side. So we're going to roll over to our left side, reaching up, right hand, grabbing the right foot, rolling back over to our stomach, and then just a little bit of pull up as we push our hips down into the ground. Take the last 20 seconds. And relax. 
All right, everybody, that's all that we've got for today. I know some newer stuff was mixed in there and some of that, some of those new exercises can feel kind of goofy the first time doing them. Um, so again, if it's feeling kind of goofy, don't worry. It's just first time doing those, they'll get a little bit more comfortable each time. So I appreciate you guys spending your Monday with me. Have a good rest of your day and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye, Lakin.